Hello there guys, Tom Combo here and in this video we're going to be doing episode 6 of my Rise to Power. I hope you are enjoying the series, I'm having a lot of fun recording it. And um, we are now going back to Friday the 6th of January when we were recording this video. But I'm actually uh, talking over it like the day you will be seeing it. So the team of the year attackers and midfielders have been released. Um, I want to know your opinions on the team near attackers and midfielders and as we get into this episode a little bit more I will go into depth a little bit more of what I feel and stuff like that So if you're interested in that sort of stuff then stay around in the episode But first you just see us pick up Jack Butler and I have given him a lot of a uh, lot of stick on this channel um, But apparently he is one of the best keepers in the game. So I thought you know what? I'll forgive him for the shit that he gave me in one weekend league and I'll try him again and so far so good guys I I've played about 25 30 games now I didn't actually finish the weekend league that I started uh, but you will see that in the upcoming episodes I think it will actually be not tomorrow's but Friday's episode you will see the weekend league um, and sorry about uh, not uploading yesterday basically it was because team of the year attackers were out so I just wanted to open packs but um yeah, you'll see in these packs, we do get pretty much nothing. Uh, a lot of people rave, rant and rave about the bronze pack method. I really don't see their, their ranting and raving, to be honest. I don't see how you can make money from it, but we'll give it a go. This series is all about learning, so we can find trading tips that we find useful and that we like and helps us. Or we can go for the generic bronze pack method. And stuff like that and that's where I kind of need to find what I want to be doing with trading and stuff in this series now I think I'll probably use SBCs as a good way to well make money and stuff and uh, we actually do see this hybrid nations and we think should we give it a go should we not and we do so uh, we don't have a lot of coins so we won't be able to complete it but we will be able to get a back four from the Barclays Premier League now this one's easy I've made a video on this when the FIFA came out uh, so if you haven't uh, completed these squad building challenges or you're struggling with them go and watch my I think it's how to complete every squad building challenge video it's very informational and it will help you complete them easily and effectively so first one we pick up Minule I think it was now obviously I'm further ahead of you lot I have actually completed this squad building challenge now but I made some key errors in this you only need 10 nations guys I put 11 in I lost like 500 no, about 50 or 100 coins now. It's not a lot, but if I'd done that with every single player that I bought, that would be quite a lot of money considering we're only on 151 at the moment. So we, we pick up most of the back four, which is decent, um, and then we will go into a game, I do believe, but let's just stick these in. So now let's go on to the subject of Team of the Year attackers and midfielders. Now, the... Attackers were Messi, Suarez and Ronaldo. Now I have no problems with them being the three attackers. I feel like they've deserved it the most. The only problem I have is that Griezmann was nominated for the very best award. Yet he wasn't even in team of the season or team of the year. Sorry. How does that work? Why is that actually a thing? So I don't know how FIFA have done it. But I feel like Griezmann should have got like a 12th man spot. Like, they've never done it in previous years, but I feel like for this time, I reckon they should have just made it an exemption. Just because he was in the very best tournament, or the trophy, like the three nominees left, or whatever they were. Uh, but he didn't actually get in the very best. Now, uh, if they would have made it, like, uh, the 12th man, then he would have got a Team of the Year card as well, which would have been very, very nice. But Suarez's card is an absolute beast, guys. If you haven't used it, try and get it in the draft. It is incredible. Um, I used Ronaldo, wasn't that impressed with it, not going to lie, I know a lot of YouTubers have been saying it's the best card in the game and stuff, but I really didn't see where all the hype was coming around on that Ronaldo card, I thought it was average at best, and then uh, Messi I haven't actually used yet, but I can imagine him being pretty decent, uh, so that's the attackers, I feel like the, th the three that got it like justify getting it, I think Messi, well Messi's always going to be it, Ronaldo's always going to be in it as well. And then obviously Suarez, the controversial one, he also should have been in it. He got golden boot for the year. 
So um, he deserves it because as a striker, all you need to do is to score goals, and Suarez successfully done that. So um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the attackers. Now the midfielders: Cruz, Iniesta, and Modric. Now Modric, I feel has deserved it. Now for the other two midfielders, I would have probably picked Kante, Kante, and maybe Pogba, Pogba or Cruz, possibly. Uh, they all have an incredible card. If you haven't seen them, I suggest going over to EA Sports FIFA on Twitter and going and seeing them cards. They are absolutely ridiculous. Cruz has 60 pace, which may put people off a little bit. I've looked at his price in the first hour of them coming out, and he's already 1.3 million, so I don't think they have put people off. Um, but looking at the other cards, I mean, EA have just released packs. Double chance. Yep, I do not give a shit about that. Um, looking at the other three cards, they've got a 95 Iniesta with 80 pace, 82 shooting, 97 passing, 97 dribbling, 70 defending, and 72 physical. So a really, really nice, well-rounded card. And if you stick a shadow, I think, on it, it gets... Um, actually, is it shadow? One of them. One that increases defending and physical. It go actually goes to like an all 80 or above card, which is very, very nice. That's 95 rated. Then you've got Cruz with 60 pace, 90 shooting, 98 passing, 88 dribbling, 80 defending, 80 physical. Now I use Cruz in my week any team. I was looking to pick up Cruz um, when his part, uh, like price dropped, but I actually think he's probably going to settle around the 800k mark. And I think I did put that on Twitter uh, as my prediction. I think yesterday or the day before. So um, I was kind of right on that. So Cruz looks absolutely incredible. I was hoping he had a little bit less pace just because people may not have wanted him like as much, which meant that his price would drop. And then the last player is Luka Modric. He has got 80 pace, 85 shooting, 96 passing, 97 dribbling, 83 defending, and 80 physical. He has got an all 80s card, and he looks ridiculous. So that is the games or the game play wise done uh, the guy just kept scoring own goals after I scored the fourth so um, we actually won 9-0 so that's three points that gives us the 1-0 record in division 8 I believe we're in uh, so we're 14-0 and so far so that's very very decent and we're just going to go and pick up our last three centre mids and a right wing to complete well not to complete but to almost complete this uh, what is it a squad building challenge team which is pretty decent but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think of the team of the year. I think, honestly, so far, the cards are looking absolutely incredible. The design looks lovely. The um, the, the stats. With, with EA and past FIFAs, they've kind of... Some of these special cards, they haven't given stats that they deserved. And in this FIFA, I feel like they've done an absolutely wonderful job in giving the stats that people deserve. So, well done EA on that. Uh, they definitely deserve kind of an OP looking card and that's exactly what they've got so all I can say is thanks EA for giving them that sort of card now who do you guys want leave that also in the comment section below except from like Ronaldo or Messi I know everyone wants Ronaldo or Messi but leave in the comment section below who do you want so maybe you want like Danny Alves because you've got a Serie A team maybe you want Neuer because you've got a great Bundesliga team Leave a comment like that. I would love to see who you guys would like. Now, the last thing we're going to do or say in this episode before we wrap it up is I am collabing. Well, not collabing. I keep saying collabing. It's not a collaboration. I am uh, giving Tobias Gaming my account to open my monthly rewards on. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to Tobias Gaming, go over and check him out. He does really good videos. He's on about 600,000 subscribers, so this is quite big for my channel. So, um, hopefully, uh, with him opening my packs, he'll obviously then send people to my channel. I will do a reaction video on him opening my packs. Uh, I'm literally praying for a Sanchez or a Ramos. Literally, a Ramos would mean that I wouldn't need to go and buy him his Team of the Year card or his normal card, which would be so, so good. Uh, but if I can get any walk out i'll be absolutely over the moon so uh yeah look out on this channel and on his channel for a video on my account opening the uh the what is it called monthly elite packs or elite monthly packs 
Uh, it should be out in the next two days unless EA fuck us in the ass and they make us wait until next week. But that is going to be the end of the episode, guys. The last thing we do do on this channel, or do do, do do, is um buy a foot coin boost. Now, if you haven't already, go and buy them. They, although they have only 200 coins or a thousand coins, depending on your EAS FC rating. Uh, they are actually a pretty decent way to get coins, so I do recommend buying them. But that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, then please leave a like, comment the things that I've asked you to in this video. It would really uh, mean a lot if I see a lot of comments, and I will try to reply to as many as possible. Subscribe if you are new. I'm close to 70 subscribers now at the end of the year. I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers, so if you could help me get to that, then that would be greatly appreciated. And until the next video, I will see you guys later.